So today we're solving systems of equations again using the elimination method. So here's a, an example that we did in class. Notice neither of these equations is a y equals or an x equals equation, so we can't use substitution unless we wanted to do a lot of algebra first. But we also can't add the two equations like we did yesterday because if we added the x's and then added the y's, it would not eliminate any of the variables. However, if we notice, we've got the same number of y's in the first equation as we do in the second equation, and they're both positive. So what we can do this time is instead of adding the two equations together, we're going to subtract the equations. So I'm going to put this whole second equation in parentheses and subtract it from the first equation. And the reason we do that is because when we subtract, first off, 2x's minus 5x's gets us negative 3x's. But when we subtract the y's, 4y's, positive 4y's, minus another positive 4y's, gets us no y's. We eliminate all of the y's. Drop down the equals, 12 minus 24, negative 12. So in this case, by subtracting the two equations, we end up with an equation that's simpler and no longer has the y's because they've been eliminated. Now we can just solve for x. Divide both sides by negative 3. x equals positive 4. And now, just like yesterday, to figure out what y is, we're going to take our x value and put it back into one of our original equations. In this case, I'm going to put in the first one. 2 times our x value which is 4, plus 4y, equals 12. So if we solve this, we'll figure out what our y value is. All right, so I'll subtract 8 from both sides. I'll end up with 4y equals 4. Divide both sides by 4 and I get y equals 1. So now I know what my solution is. x is 4, y is 1. And notice, the only reason why this method works is because we have the exact same amount of y's in both equations. And it would also work if we had the same number of x's in both equations. So yesterday's method of adding the equations worked, when we had the same number of x's or y's, when one was positive and one was negative. Today, when we have the same number of x's or y's and they're both the same sign, we can subtract them and use elimination that way.